Let us learn how to create this beautiful animation that looks complex but is quite simple to create. I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Let us jump right in to the tutorial. To create this beautiful slide, all you need are three elements. One is this text box which is square in shape with numbers. Second, we need four photos which are in square shape. And third, we need some kind of explanation for each of the photos. Now, how did I create these? It's very simple. I went to rectangles, held the shift button down and then drew a square like this, filled it with black color, removed the outline and added a number like this and used a thicker font like 2SEN MT condensed extra bold and increased the size. I made duplicates of this and I now have four of these text boxes. Then how did I get these photos cropped in a square shape? It's very simple. Let us insert any random picture. I'm just going to show you the process. The first thing I'm going to do is after selecting the picture, let me go to picture format, crop, and then go to aspect ratio after clicking this drop down menu and say one is to one. And now you have a square photo. So that is what I did by picking up four photos. I cropped it in square shape like this with one is to one aspect ratio. Next is I picked up a text box and then wrote the text like this and I now have four of these. The real game starts when you start applying custom animation. I'm going to select each of these while holding the shift button down. Then go to animations and I'm going to have an exit animation first. So let us go to more exit effects and use the option called collapse and it is under moderate say collapse and this happens to bottom. So I'm going to select this. So that is how it collapses. Go to animation pane, you can see what happens here. Now, while this happens, we are going to have entrance animation for all these items. So I'm going to hold the shift button down and select all these items one after another. Add animation, more entrance effects. This time I'm going to choose moderate stretch and say OK. And this again happens from top to bottom. So from top. And we're going to say this happens with previous. So these are the animations we have for these four items. We are going to have the exact same thing for these photos as well. So let me pick up one of these elements, go to animation painter and double click it. Then go to the second slide, first, second, third and fourth animation. Hit escape. Now we have the same animations, only that the order is changed a little bit. You don't really worry about the order of this animation at this point. We will do that in the next stage. The next thing I'm going to do is to select these elements. So one, two, three, four and add exit animation first. So let us go to exit animations here and choose fade. So we have four of these. Then we are going to choose the same exact order and add an entrance animation of the same fade. And this happens with previous. So now we have the animation part done. Now the real challenge is in ordering these animations and that is when the effect really shows. I'm going to choose a new slide this time. Go to home, pick up a simple rectangle tool. I'm just creating something to hold these shapes. Let us press Ctrl D and create a duplicate and then place this over here and then extend the rectangle. So we have two rectangles pretty much covering the entire slide. The first rectangle is going to be in some light color like this. Let us select this and then choose a slightly stronger tan color and select both of them and remove the outline. Now I'm going to place these items here. So let us select all these, press Ctrl C and then place it over here and you can see these animations. Now observe what I'm going to do with the animations carefully. First on a click we have this collapsing and exiting the scene. While that happens, we want this one to enter the scene, which means I don't want the entrance animation for this. So I'm going to select this one, which represents one here and I'm going to delete it. Now we have entrance animation, which is a stretch animation only for two, three and four, as you can see here. How am I going to rearrange this? Let us select this second one. So while this exits, this is going to enter. So that means I'm going to move this and say these two are going to happen together. Then on a click, we are going to have this collapse and this enter. So that means this collapse animation is going to be on a click. And while this collapses, this is going to enter the scene. So you can see number three here. I'm going to place this over here as with previous. 
then while this collapses so here i'm going to say on click this one is going to enter the scene which is the stretch animation and we don't really want this to be going away so i'm going to select this and remove that's it now observe this on a click this collapses and this enters the scene this collapses and this enters the scene and this collapses and this enters the scene so that is how we are going to have these elements present now we are going to arrange them in such a way that one is right on top then beneath that we are going to have two beneath that three and four is at the bottom so how do we do that the simplest way to do this is to go to home go to edit and go to select and say selection pane now what is the name of this this is rectangle 4 so if you want to make it easy for you just change that to 0 1 and this is 0 2 and this is 0 3 and this is 0 4 so that means 1 needs to be right on top right next to that is number 2 next to that is number 3 and then we have number 4 I can select all of these and then say align to the left and then align to the center now that is beautiful I am going to place it over here now let us go to slideshow and see what happens on a click this one exits and the second one is shown second exits and third is shown third exits and fourth is shown so now we have done that for the numbers beautiful let us do the exact same thing for the next set now you can see that this is going to be the first one let us name this as p1 so it represents picture one or photo one and let us select this and say p2 and call this p3 and then this one is going to be called p4 this is purely for our convenience now what needs to happen let us go to animation pane and see what happens here now right as i open this picture which is the first picture is already there I don't really need it to come into the scene with any kind of entrance animation so whatever is the entrance animation associated with this which is the stretch can be deleted then this one exits the scene with a collapse at the same time this one is going to enter the scene which is a stretch so we are going to say this one which is p2 which represents the entrance animation for this needs to be with previous then on the next click p2 is going to exit the scene while that happens the entrance of this happens so we are going to move this p3 right next to the previous one and then while this collapses this enters the scene so this is p3 while this collapses we are going to have this one enters the enter the scene and then we are going to remove the exit animation for the last picture so just observe this p1 exits the scene and p2 enters the scene p2 exits p3 enters p3 exits p4 enters so that is what we have done here when i go to slideshow just the way that is shown here p1 exits the scene p2 enters the scene p2 exits p3 enters p3 exits p4 enters so that is what it is now we are going to go to the same selection pane and reorder so this one is going to be on top p1 is going to be on top p2 is next p3 is next now let us select everything align to the left and align to the center and I'm going to select all of this, press Ctrl X and place it to the right of this. If you want to make it appear pretty nicely, you can always use a white border and increase the size for the weight. So it looks beautiful. Now, when I go to animation pane, let us play this from this point onwards. We already know what we have done with these. So I'm going to select this one and say play from. So you can see on a click, it goes, goes, goes. So that is how it is. So it looks beautiful now let us do a little bit of a rejig we are going to have this and this animation sync together so that means we are going to have p1 and p2 combination to happen with 0 1 and 0 2 so i'm going to have this right next to each other and say all of this happens with previous so on a click we have this number changing to 2 this picture changing to the next one do the exact same thing for p2 and p3 and keep it right next to o2 and o3 so and say with previous and the same thing is this one with previous so let us go to slideshow and see what we have done so far so right at the start we have o1 and p1 shown on a click o1 exits and o2 enters the first picture exits and the second picture comes in then o2 exits o3 comes p2 exits and p3 comes together and o3 exits o4 comes 
and P3 exits and P4 comes together. Now let us stack one more thing so we can have the explanation shown here. Now as we did earlier, let us change the names of these so it is easier for us to understand what we got here. This one is T1. Now select this and call this T2 and select this and call this T3 and then select this and let us call it T4. So T is text box and 1, 2, 3, 4 is shown here. I'm going to move the order. So 1 is above, 2 is next. 3 is next. So this is the order in which we have the animations shown. Let us go to animation pane and see what we got here. Now T1 is going to be there on the screen. So we don't really need any entrance animation for that, which means T1's entrance animation, which is fade animation can be deleted. While T1 exits, we want T2 to fade in. So that means we are going to move this right next to the previous one. And then while T2 fades out, T3 enters the scene. So that means we are going to have this on click and move this right next to the previous one. So T2 exits and T3 enters. The same way the next one. So we are going to have this on click while T3 exits, T4 enters along with it with this with previous and the exit of T4 is not required. So I'm going to delete. I did exactly the same thing as I did for the previous two animations as well. Now I'm going to select all of this and then align middle and then select this, press Ctrl X, and then go here, press Ctrl V, and I'm going to place it over here. You can change the font color to something even more visible like white. So now let us stack these elements together. O1, O2, P1, P2, and therefore this also goes along with it and say with previous, and do the exact same thing for the next one as well, and say with previous. So O2, O3, P2, P3, T2, T3, and this one with previous and you have O3, O4, P3, P4 and T3, T4. And you can see one exit, one entrance, one exit, one entrance, one exit, one entrance. So that is how everything is stacked. Now, when I go to slideshow, we have the beautiful animation ready for us to demonstrate. Right off the gate, we have everything shown. Then all the elements change to the next ones. Then all the elements change to reveal the next one. Then all the elements change to reveal the next one. So this is the magic that you can do by stacking animations. If you want to be good with PowerPoint animation, this is one of the foundation principles that you need to learn of how to change elements on stage. And if you are a busy presenter and you don't really have time to create complex animations like this, then you already have the option of purchasing our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle where some really complex animations are built readily for you. All you need to do is to replace the sample text with your own text and some very impressive animations are readily available for you and your audience will wonder how you created these complex yet beautiful animations so you can make your presence felt in every single case whenever you are on stage. So you can see that these are very easy animations and the final example is this where we showcase each of the four items and observe how on a click we have the highlight shown on the third one and the second one disappears fourth one and the third one disappears. In this template, we have done the exact same thing as we did with the flower and the text boxes. On a click, one appears and one disappears. And actually, when you get comprehensive all-in-one bundle, you can go through all these animations and reverse engineer and see how we made these animations so you can become good at creating your own set of templates that you can use for your presentations. The link to comprehensive all-in-one bundle is in the description box below the video. Click on it and check out more details about the product. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I put together just a few days back, which showcases another interesting animation that you can learn. And it is a very simple one. So please click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch that tutorial and learn how I did this. I'll see you inside that video next.